Uh, he owns this one here. The guy in the red owns the, the Jeep over there. And there's a guy sitting over there with the red one that owns the Del DeLorean over okay. there. Yeah. I'm just our friends and I'm here <laughs> just to join the fun. That's really cool. Is there any questions? Or? Uh, just out of curiosity, why didn't you guys work at uh, Triumph or Spirit? Uh, yeah, Raul works at uh, Triumph. I knew, uh, I had a friend who worked there, okay. I think that was yep. the same department. Because I heard about like, oh yeah, my coworker has like these replica movie. Yep. That would be him. <laughs> that would definitely be him. I'm at Nordam too. So. Okay. <laughs> All right, the same. Yep. Oh, that's super. I don't know. These are super impressive. No, no, it's just a, like a $60 action camera. It's yeah. like GoPro killer. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, they're the NeoPixels, uh, yeah, WS 2180 or something like that, yeah, yeah, I ended up having to sew all, the, all these, uh, onto here, because, uh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, just a regular lithium ion, uh, I forget how big it is, I can't pull it out right now, all the way, here, let me turn it off. Oh no. Nah, it's removable, so it's just a little. Uh, this one. This one's a 1300 milliamp power. This one lasts me probably about three days before I have to charge it. Really? Yeah. Yeah, but it's just. Uh, from, well, you know uh, NeoPixel, so you probably know Adafruit. Yeah, that, that's uh, where I got their, uh, they, they have a kit for this, so that, that's where I got the whole idea, and, yeah. Do you see yourself in the process of just now getting into um, LEDs and putting together motorcycles and things like that? Like, what do you think you're going to do with that? Sure. Um, uh, I have a friend who, who does a bunch of NeoPixel work, and so that's why I was like, I know those lights. Yeah. Those lights. <laughs> that's awesome. Thank you. Yeah, I actually have a lightsaber too, but I messed up the wiring to it, so I can't tr I can't turn it on. But yeah, it uses a bunch of NeoPixels as well. So, so you made all this mm -hmm. yeah, I've been making just random LED gear for no reason other than just for fun since like 2008. So yeah, I've been messing around with it for a while now. Great hobby, it seems like. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Nice yeah, no problem. Have a good one. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 
uh, robot coming up to the town to the docks uh, because they don't normally just come anymore. They have lots of different additional challenges that they do. Uh, uh, the driver uh, 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 Okay, so can you tell me a little bit about your bot that you have over here, 3507? <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, uh, they used to be welding goggles actually, oh, okay. and I just hot glued a, a, a thing of a LED rings oh, okay. on there, and uh, it's just controlled with an Arduino, so. Oh, okay, interesting, I've never seen anything like that. <laughs> yeah. They definitely are eye-catching. Yeah, they certainly are, thanks. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Yeah, that's my, that's the main reason why I'm hanging around with my friends over here because a lot of people just get to see, you know, uh, get really excited about the, uh, especially the DeLorean over here. I, uh, I've seen so many people get so excited over it. it it's, it's it's so like great. The one in the, it's like the one in the movie. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. The funniest thing is they have all the Star Wars characters come over here. It's like, Jurassic Park and Star Wars. I never would have put those two concepts together. Like Imperial Stormtrooper versus Dinosaur. Right? <laughs> it's pretty great. Yeah, that's what, that's one of the reasons why I like this uh, Maker's Fair so much. You just get a little bit of everything. And, and same with the people, too. Like, you get a little bit of everybody. And it's, it's just great. Like, the diversity and everything. Maker Fairs, and they all kind of have their own vibe. And they all have their own personality sure. because the vendors are different and some of them are very artsy, some of them are very crafty, some mm -hmm. of them are very sciencey and you know it's just like you said it's all over the board. It's hard to really pigeonhole and say it's this. Exactly. It's a lot of different things going on. Mm -hmm. you know, like a Renaissance type people and exactly. you know, the Comic Con guys and, and it's just a lot of stuff going on here mm -hmm. that's seemingly unrelated but kind of all comes together and works. Yep, yep, so, all, all yeah. through making. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> it's pretty great. Well, it's good talking to you. Nice talking to you. I'm Pedro. Hi, Pedro. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Bruce. Really? And they're all, and they're signing a lease? Yeah, well, they don't have their how they're going to operate as a club oh, sorted out yet. But You'd think that they would have that sorted out before they well, get a they, lease. Well, I think their plan is to just, they, they bought it for themselves, really. Oh, okay. Gonna, which is exactly what I was going to do. Sure, sure, sure. I can afford it. Kind of jealous of it. Yeah, a little bit. Did anything other than that seem interesting though? Like, yeah, I mean, I mean, I still want to program them, but be part of it. Sure. Uh, I think I have a place like Park Explorer to work on. 
That would be nice. It's really weird seeing little girls like that, you know, the ones that look, you know, like really dressed up and everything, but talking about 3D printers. That is such social dissonance to me. Uh, there was just a couple of little girls like uh, that walked by that looked like really like prissy or whatever, but they were talking about 3D printing and it, it caused a little cognitive dissonance. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. <laughs> but mom, it's got a handle. <laughs> Definitely be a lot more comfortable, that's for damn sure. No, okay, que lo toquen. Si. <laughs> I know. <laughs> and then there are others that'll practically hump the damn thing too. <laughs> Unless it's completely the opposite and it's like from like super helicopter parents. Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah. Only four hours. That tells you how long we've been. <laughs> that little girl knew what a DeLorean was. That's impressive. Like pulling on it? Jeez. Well, guess who just became completely unconvinced from ever doing a movie call? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I might have one. I'll just never bring it out in public. <laughs>
No. Yeah. much. <laughs> slight variations in three, but two is basically a rehash of the Yeah, so it's got the mic right there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes I see you stand there and it's like, I guess the batteries run out. Nope, I just got to talk a little bit more. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> I noticed the sound, but I just thought there was like a toy or something, like somebody playing with like beads, or I don't know. I feel like it's supposed to have a quiet sound, not a... Yeah, raspy, yeah. For some reason, I just remembered this. Didn't they have, back in the future, the Donald's car, the Edmund's car? Yeah, they scare the shit out of me. They look like a fire hazard. Probably because they are. Probably. If I remember, they were kind of like, wind up. Yeah. <laughs> and I got back into it. Yeah, I figure I was an adult. Like as a kid, I 
did because this one train I called Sparky because all it did was throw sparks <laughs> constantly. It would move really slow and just watch my spark. And then as an adult, I found out, oh, you have to clean the wheels on the train. Oh. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I was always being the track and I was like, why are these things stop working good? <laughs> okay. I think the lady likes the paint job. Yeah. I have no idea what that was. Just seeing a little girl here a second ago. Her mom was taking pictures. She went like. It was the perfect pose, man. It was so funny. I think radio people, I think DJs. <laughs> I think that's the saddest group of media people I've met is like 90s, 80s, 90s shock jocks. There were a few of them. Uh, Looks and Terry. What was his name? Joke Man, something or other. Joke Man Stan or something like that. Anyway, he was a local radio, radio guy. Oh yeah, stand the joke, man. Yeah, stand yeah, the joke, man. Yeah, yeah. I met him a few weeks back, and it's uh, a lot of fun. Yeah, we need to get a set of those. This is kind of sad because most of them are like, all oh, now I work uh, in accounting. Stand the joke, man's actually, I think, a truck driver now. Really? Uh, yeah. Wow. <laughs> That's yeah. funny. Yeah. He's got a soundboard in his truck. Makes smart noises. Probably. That would not surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Probably. Most definitely. Do none of you belong to the DeLorean? Yeah. I'm sorry? You, you went to DeLorean? Yes. Okay. You can turn the bathroom. Why? I'm just curious. Yeah. <laughs> So. <laughs> this attracts like people that like Jurassic Park. The Lorings attract people 
who talk to you like your dad. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I've noticed that with... <laughs>